Welcome back to the Technus Corner. I'm Sib Luca, your guide on the road to becoming an ethical hacker. In Chapter 5, we'll explore the crucial phase of post-exploitation and reporting. Let's get started. Chapter 5, Post-Exploitation and Reporting After successfully compromising a system, it's important to maintain access, gather evidence and prepare a comprehensive report. Let's delve into this phase. The first aspect of post-exploitation is privilege escalation. This technique involves obtaining higher levels of access and control on compromised systems. By exploiting vulnerabilities or misconfigurations, you can elevate your privileges and gain deeper access to sensitive information or critical resources. Next, let's explore data exfiltration methods. Once you have gained access to a system, you may need to extract sensitive data without raising suspicion. Tools like PowerShell Empire, Cobalt Strike, or Metasploit can help in this process. These frameworks provide features to stealthily exfiltrate data, maintain persistence, and establish command and control channels. For example, you can use techniques like steganography, which involves hiding data within seemingly innocent files, or utilize encrypted communication channels to transmit sensitive information without detection. Finally, documenting your findings and preparing a comprehensive report is crucial in ethical hacking. Clear and concise reporting helps communicate your assessments, identified vulnerabilities, and proposed recommendations to clients or stakeholders. The report should include details about the compromised systems, the methods used to gain access, vulnerabilities discovered, and the potential impact of these vulnerabilities. It's important to provide practical recommendations for mitigating the identified risks and improving overall system security. And there you have it, the phase of post-exploitation and reporting. Privilege escalation, data exfiltration, and comprehensive reporting are essential steps in the ethical hacking process. Remember to always operate within legal and ethical boundaries, ensuring you have proper authorization for your assessments. In the next chapter, we'll explore the exciting world of wireless network hacking. Stay tuned to the Technus Corner for more insights, techniques, and practical examples on your journey to becoming an ethical hacker. I'm Sib Luca, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy hacking and peace.